Hi, it's Emily here from the blog and YouTube channel Pineapple Farmhouse and today I want to share with you some ideas for farmhouse decorating on a budget. Well the kids have just gone back to school after a long school holidays and I'm taking a little bit of time to straighten up the house and it got me thinking about some of the ideas I could share with you for decorating in farmhouse style on a budget. One way you can save money in decorating is to create your own soft furnishings. Here I've created my own pillow slips with some ticking stripe fabric on the spotlight. They're just a simple design, a square pattern with an envelope back. The other thing I've done is I've taken some very inexpensive pure cotton curtains from Ikea that had a tab top. I love the way the light just softly filters through and it's really that country fresh white cotton linen look. But I wasn't so happy with the tab top so what I did was I bought this backing tape from eBay which creates a rod pocket and I've just sewn that onto my curtains to create a completely different look. I also love decorating with heirloom textiles like this crochet rug made by my husband's grandmother. When I think of farmhouse style I think of fireplaces and warm cozy spaces. This is a faux fireplace that I've created previously on the blog. You can get the full tutorial at pineapplefarmhouse.com and I'll link it in the description box below. I really like how the mantelpiece becomes another area to add decor to your home. Books, candles and jars are a great way to decorate your mantel on a budget and all of these ideas are very simple and affordable. Most of my living and dining room furniture has been purchased from Facebook Marketplace or handed down to me. I love the way these pieces come together to create a collected vintage look that lends itself really well to farmhouse style at a fraction of the cost of buying new. Facebook Marketplace is my go-to place for lamps, mirrors and other vintage homewares. I also love scouring my local thrift stores for one-of-a-kind pieces. When it comes to using flowers to decorate the farmhouse, I love to use things that I've grown in my own garden. Your arrangements don't need to be perfect. Just take a few cuttings, greenery, flowers, whatever you have in your back garden. Here on the dining table, I'm just using a simple mason jar as a vase. And I'm pairing that with some heirloom and vintage linens. The napkins were from my local thrift shop and the salt and pepper shakers were from a second hand store. I love the way they bring some vintage farmhouse style to the dining space without spending a lot of money. In the kitchen, I've added farmhouse style by simply creating some open shelving. To do this, all I had to do was take off some of the cabinet doors in my kitchen. I then replaced the handles with black ones to give it a little bit more of an industrial farmhouse feel. These changes cost just a few dollars and I love the way it gives me a space to display all of my vintage thrifted vines and farmhouse decor. Not so long ago, I saw an idea on Instagram, so I decided to replace my wooden scoops in my flower canisters with some pretty teacups. By displaying jars of ingredients, you can create a farmhouse style without spending a lot of money. Mm -hmm. 
As you can see, it doesn't take a lot of money to create cozy farmhouse style at home. Just a little time and elbow grease. Get creative and try your hand at making some soft furnishings or another DIY project and keep an eye out at your local thrift shop and on Facebook Marketplace to score some amazing secondhand finds. Don't forget to shop your own home first and use family heirlooms in creative new ways rather than buying new. And that's it. So if you'd like to get the blogs that go along with this video, I'll link them in the description box below. And as always, if you love this video and would like to see more, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. I aim to bring you a new video and blog each week. Thanks for following along.